Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to do something very exciting and fun uh, So please stay with me till the end of this video uh, So without any further ado, let's get right into the video The object in my hand is called a capacitor uh, It is widely used in all kinds of power supply to smooth out DC voltages Example is this PC power supply which has ton of these all around the circuit board uh, these are basically small energy storing devices for circuits similar to batteries but batteries are far more superior in storing energy than capacitors. Anyway, you might have heard of explosion in electronic circuits and this is the main culprit for that. Battery and capacitors are only those things in an electronic circuit that can explode during normal valve function. Since battery and capacitors are similar in many ways, the thing or the condition that make these, the, these things explode are also same. So we will discuss some of the reasons why these capacitors explode. So the number one reason is overheating. As you can see, it has mentioned 105 degrees Celsius in the capacitor, which mean, which means that if the temperature due to any reason exceeds 105 degrees Celsius, then this capacitor is basically going to explode. And number two is over voltage. So this capacitor is rated for 10 volt, oh, sorry, 16 volt. Uh, so if you connect this capacitor to a power supply of uh, maybe 20 volt, then this thing is going to explode there as well. Uh, so and the third thing is reverse voltage. So which means that if you connect a negative lead to its positive terminal and positive leads to its negative terminal and apply some uh, current, uh, then this thing will eventually, sorry, this thing will start heating up and eventually explode. The above three reasons are applicable for battery also, but the capacitor does not explode by rapid charging or short circuit. So if you uh, charge this capacitor and just short circuit it, then you cannot destroy the capacitor or uh, cause any kind of explosion. But if you do the same with a the battery, then battery can probably explode in that condition. I have various capacitors ranging from a small size to the bigger one. So today I am going to simulate a situation where the capacitor has to face high voltage. So I have made a power supply with just a full bridge rectifier which can output 222 volt DC. I know the result is not going to be peaceful but you are here just for that right? So let's get into it. As mentioned earlier, this experiment was fairly dangerous to conduct inside the room, so I am out of my room in an open place. Uh, I also have a small plywood shield with the power source nearby with a switch. We will start with a small capacitor and gradually move on testing with bigger and bigger ones. So let's get started. Oh. <laughs> That was really cool. <laughs> now let's see it in slow motion. Whoa, this is really cool. But let's see a bigger one now. Ooh, it looks like a gun recoil, isn't it? Let's check its slow motion footage. Everything looks cool in slow motion, right? Ooh, this is cute. It really looks like a tiny penny rocket. I tried with another capacitor, but it was just a smoke bomb. It is really cool to look at this thing, but believe me guys, it smells disgusting. I never want to smell it again. Wow, this seems interesting. It took off right from my lab and landed in the moon. Don't worry guys, NASA astronauts will bring it back. Sorry, I don't have audio, but the explosion was best of all. And this is the result. So, the lesson from the video is that not all capacitors explode and most of them just give off lot of smoke even when they had to face much more worse condition than the normal one. So, we can say that electronics have got much more safe nowadays and we don't hear electronics explosion that much. The reason why you should follow the warning instruction is because I was electrocuted and got huge electric shock while making this video due to my carelessness. So 
better not to repeat this at home at the end if you enjoyed this video then a like and a subscribe to the channel would really be awesome thank you very much for watching this till the end keep supporting and i will catch you in the next one till then bye bye